going live. Well, good, good morning. morning, my friend. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful day. And first thing that I want to say is like, thank you for being with us today. It is awesome it to is awesome. see you again. And as we share like every morning, um, it's awesome that we can share what we're learning, the journey that we're going through and everything else with our friends, our partners, customers, anyone, because it's time for us to join hands and help others. And as we do this, thank you very much. My name is Carlos Vargas, and it's a pleasure to have you with us today here. Our partners. Can I just uh, before we get into like strategy? Yeah. I believe the reason why we do these is because we want to help people evangelize their message, right? And how they can help people. You know what song yeah. just came to my head just right now? I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. Now listen to this. I like the world to buy a Coke and keep it company. That's the song I sing. Now, look how, I think that goes into so poignant, like we're gonna be talking about Facebook today. But I remember that song, A Kid, and how it branded their feeling and then you saw year as years have gone by is how they branded happiness and they branded relationships and um it's just a it's so incredibly powerful how different tools can get a message out whether it's singing writing speaking um using facebook that we're going to talk about today so anyways just had to sing <laughs> so how to use Facebook Live to make some cash. And again, you stop here because it interests you the topic. And one of the things that um, I personally get asked a lot is, okay, I'm afraid of this thing, or I don't know where to start, or I don't have the equipment, or you have professional things. So thinking about it, uh, I decided to go with, through this session. Again, um, we're going to try to keep it short, but some little things to show you that, again, yeah, you can make money, but the only way that you're going to make money is if you serve your customers. Right now, I am reading a book uh, that I want to recommend you, and you can get a copy completely free uh, if you go to carlosvargas.com for slash traffic. And it's the book, the new book from Russell Bronson. Um, and in, I think it's the first chapter, he mentioned that you want to look where your audience is congregating or where do they go. And you want to reach them there. So that's why then if people are going to Facebook, then how do you reach to them in Facebook? Because one of the things that a lot of people think is that, um, and I have had these questions a lot this past couple of weeks, that let's say churches that want to reach their audience and say, well, they're not seeing my post. Well, because the organic reach of a post is not that good right now in Facebook unless you pay for it. Mm -hmm. But when you go with the live video, like what we're doing right now, um, you have a larger audience that you can reach. And I seen several things that people that are entry level and people that think that they're professional have done. And what I want to do is that I want to share with you how you with just your phone you can start serving your community, your people, if you're a real estate, if you're a teacher, if you are a ministry, whatever it is, doesn't matter, how you can start serving them and connecting with them. And there's a specific reason why I have this hat on. So in this video, you're seeing it correctly. I'm gonna start a new video when I do the Facebook Live, and I'm gonna show you the biggest 
hurdle that I see people having. And they don't realize because then they're starting to share something and it doesn't get the message across because they don't understand the tools. So let me just start here real quick. So I have here one of my devices and I'm gonna go into Facebook. And like I said, just with your device, you don't need anything else. You can start serving your community because the first thing that you need to know is that you need to understand who you're gonna serve. And we have talked about that specifically, how you serve your community. And then when you serve a purpose and you solve the questions that they're having, they come to you so you can help them. So I'm gonna start a live. And look at the letters on the video. Trish, what do you see? It's backwards. Exactly. That's the first mistake that I see a lot of people doing when they are gonna go live. When they're using this face fronting camera and so they don't realize that Instagram doesn't have the way to fix it yet. And that was the same way that was Facebook for the longest. But there is a little, it looked like a magic wand that is right there next to the start video. If you click in there, on the bottom, there are gonna be some tools that will appear for you. And, and I start with this because I wanna show you how you can, you're gonna solve a problem and I'm gonna do like I'm teaching something over my phone. So I want you to see it correctly. If you see on the bottom, there's icons. And at the end, the last one, there's one that look like a wrench and a screwdriver that look like an X. If you touch that in there, there are three buttons. The first one, if you touch it, voila, it flips your camera. So now if I pick a book, people can read it correctly. If I have something, if I have Perfect. a shirt, if I have something, they can read it correctly. Yeah. The second one is the last icon that look like a sun. If you touch that, in my case, I don't need light right now. I have a, a light in front of me. But if you're in a place that have low light, you can then press it and then you can change it, okay? So right there, with those two things, you can now start doing your life correctly to start serving your people. So let's see, it switched a little bit now, so let me just go back. I'm gonna put back the light so I can use it. There you go. Okay, so now I could look a little bit better. Now, if I go and teach, the first thing is that you don't need a script to know everything that you're gonna do. I saw a video and, and, I'm, and I wanna switch first so you can see my face. So I, I was seeing a video about two days and look at my eyes. The video looked like this. <laughs> The person was literally reading the whole time. And the whole idea is that you interact with people like you're interacting with friends. Ryan Days, uh, in the last 10X Growth Con, he was doing a session on the, the biggest myths that are in digital marketing. And one of the first thing that he shared was that you need to answer the questions that people have that you may think that are the silliest, stupidest, or whatever simple thing, because right now you have an audience of one. And it's not the person that is watching you. 
is Google. Because when you solve that question and people search for it, then they will find you. So thinking about that, when you're doing a video, and I'm gonna switch back to the phone, you don't want to be so static that you make it silly. No, you wanna like, right now I have my phone on a stand and you can have it on your stand, you can have it on your hand. For example, if you have one of these things on the back, you can hold your phone. But the whole idea is that as you teach, your personality comes out. So, and why do I keep sharing that? And I, I am so passionate about it. You and I have a message. And if that device that is there gonna help me share my message, my message will become the dough. Because now, let's say that I want to tap on the description and I'm gonna go your message. And then I put here a URL of one of my programs. I put a link to the website. I put a link to a landing page that we have talked about it. Now, when somebody sees my video, that video can be there for ages. And then people can find you after the fact. People can connect with you. And let's say that you finish your video you can see which one resonated more with people. So I can click go live now, and all that I have to do, I will start seeing people going up. I'm not gonna do it right now because then I will confuse with this live. But all that you have to do is press that blue live video button. And why is that all that you have to do? because now Facebook will connect you and it will start with all your friends that are seeing it on your profile. And I will go in another day, the difference between when should you do something on your profile versus your page versus a group. But here's what I wanna show you. So let's say that I, I did the video, wow, it's great. You can then look at your videos how they look, and then you can go and pick which ones are the top ranking videos. So let's say, um, oh, this one looked to be a really good video. We got 469 views about a week ago, or whatever is the number that you decide that is good. And you wanna be able to connect with people where they are. And again, I, I'm, I'm sharing this because it's very important. And this is, not verbatim, but this is one of the strategies that is on that book that you can get right there, completely free. Just get the, you just cover the shipping and handling for it. Um, Russell is doing a great job about it. Um, but here's the thing, Facebook give you the option to make more cash. And sometimes you have to spend a little bit. And it's a simple strategy called boosting a post. And again, I get people asking about the difference between ads and boosting a post. So I will go through it. So yes, Trish. Yeah, so I just wanted to share with the, the group um, on, I put most of my marketing dollar in Facebook and generate leads and closed sales from it. So on the boost post that he's getting ready to show you, um, Carlos, you and I were talking about what farming means. Mm -hmm. um, and in the real estate space, it's picking a geographic area and targeting homes in that geographic area. And then there's some advanced strategies in real estate where what percentage is turning over? What are the trends that's happening? Is it new homes? Is it this? Is it that? 
But for the majority who are watching this video, that's what I've done. And actually I can, I, I put in about $40 last week and could track $460 from Facebook specifically by doing a boost post just with uh, boosting in the geographic area. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you as you're going to be going through and coaching the team right now on how they can get their message out. What I decided to do is I did a geographic area for my bookstore, my art gallery, you know, my faith-based store. Um, and I targeted women in the radius. So I don't know if you want to maybe when you go into the boost post, if you're showing that or we do that on a next session. But I just kind of, I wanted to share that holistically. Yeah, they, I will share. I will share that the idea how to do it, but to create an okay. audience, it, we will need a little more time. Um, so here, here's the reason and, and what Trish is mentioning. Let's say that we finish this and we would like to, some people sometimes hear the word target and they think that is something bad. If you think about it, think about it, who do you want to serve? And that's the people that you want to show your material. Why? Because then they may be interested in learning more about what you're doing. And, and when you, when, when you, one of the things you could do is that video, people consume it left and right. More than a blog post, more than anything else. And the reason for it is that it's engaging. They can see someone. You're gonna say um, something, Trish? Yes, um, I'm thinking about, um, one of my coaching clients right now who's in Michigan and she is in, she's writing her, she's writing her next book. It's getting ready to go into publication. Um, but she's actually going to be doing a four part class series, but thinking with the begin in the end in mind, um, I will want her to go ahead and be very concentrated on the region in Michigan that she's at doesn't mean that she's limiting herself to other people all over the country. But what she can do is she can target churches, faith-based churches and women, because her series is about women and eating and food choices and um, using food specifically to comfort yourself and anxiety. And she wants to equip them on how to use God's word and strengthen their identity in Christ. So I'm very excited because I have a coaching call with her today and you're unlocking, you know, just us being able to communicate with one another that what I'm going to do is have her look at the Facebook strategy in her region. She can't drive to those areas right now, but she can serve within her region. But also beginning with the end in mind, she's going to be able now to forward, think about, OK, they're going to be connected to me over a long period of time. And then when churches open back up for um, visiting people or having people in, she will be top of mind. And I, that's, I wanted to share that because sometimes we think that we're going to get a, a sale right now in this very minute or a lead uh, that will convert to money right away. And then we don't go the distance and we don't stay consistent and we get discouraged. So I wanted to kind of bounce that back over to you on your thoughts on that. Yeah. So that's part of what you want to solve a problem and boosting a post will put you in their uh, way, their head. They will see what you're doing. Then they will look for what you are and then you can serve them. That could be that they join your list, that they join to a webinar, that they join to your class, that they give you a referral. Um, like in the last couple of days, I actually have received several referrals and testimonials because of the work that I have done not only now, but that I have done from the past. So one of the simplest thing is that you, like I was saying, you can look for that video 
that you did. And again, if you decide that you want to do the video right now, and when you finish it, you want to boost it, you can do that. Uh, so let's say I'm going to pick this one in here. And all you have to do, you stop it and you wait until it loads. And we're going to have here this boost option. When you click boost, here's where you can actually, uh, let's see here. Okay, so this, let me just refresh this real quick. Again, this is live and unplugged. Uh, just reinstalled some things yesterday for the computer. Um, if you have a pop-up blocker, it will block you from leveraging the ad. So if you boost the post, um, we can't read that anyways, what it says, yeah. just so you know. It's interesting. It's giving me, uh, but in here, you can decide where you want to send your posts. And I think that this is the most important thing. I will look what is that uh, problem in there. Um, but in here, you can choose where you want to show it and to who. And I don't want to go in through how to do an ad on, on this section, but I just want to give you a little bit of a strategy. Let's say that you took the time to prepare a class or share how you can help your people and you serve them well. Like these videos that we do, you can take them, you can chunk them, you can sit down, take notes and start applying them right now. So let's say that I want to reach more people that the one that are connected with me. That's when I will boost that post. And as Trish mentioned, she did it for her region, depending on what I'm doing. I could do it for a different place. But why do you want to do that? Because the whole idea that if you hear our message is when you serve someone, they will eventually want to do business with you. I remember, um, one of my mentors used to say, if you're so desperate to make a buck from a sale, the other person will feel it and they don't want to make money. They don't want to do business with you. And the reason is because you're going to be desperate from, hey, I, I, I need it, I need it, I need it. And I understand that in times like this or whatever, whenever you're watching this, there may be a need that you need to make cash right now. But if your only focus is in how to get money from someone else, Facebook will not help you because you're not serving them. Mm -hmm. When you serve them, then they will start a little bit of a relationship. And probably you have heard this before, but there may be a wrong connection. And you think that only relationships is, let's say, a girlfriend and a boyfriend or a wife and a husband. But in order for you to be successful with what you're doing so you can sell with someone else, and Russell discussed it very well on his book. And like I was mentioning, you can get a copy of it. Uh, and you have seen it, Trisha mentioned it on her book. You can see it on almost every successful entrepreneur and business, they have had to switch from selling the goods. For example, like, well, I cannot sell just the good. I need to start the they, relationship. I have to interrupt them. because they, yep. they shifted. We shifted. I shifted almost two decades ago. So this, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to be blunt. The ones who are listening to this video and haven't done it yet, you're late to the party. So you better get dressed and show up. There. There's my honorary quote for the day instead of being all peppy. Because I remember on a huge post-it note, you know, like the big ones that we can put on a wall. Yep. And it was 2004. And my sister and I stayed at the sleep in and we sequestered ourselves for two and a half days. And we talked about the needs of what um, real estate people needed and, and versus of just general sales at that time. And of course it crosses over and it was relationship marketing 
is the key to success. So we, it, that was 2004. So we're talking 16 years ago. And how do we bring value and education to it? That brought rise to um, coming up with solutions to get into the hands of the clients that they wanted to serve, who might not be clients just yet. So Russell and so forth, and, and I'm not going to pick on him, but you know what? He was probably a teenager during that time. He just happened to be really darn smart and get digital marketing out on another level by selling his pop guns and probably Frank Kearns or whatever told him how to bridge the gap where, so they were working on this global level where leaders like us were working in a specific industry niche. So I share that because you've got to shift your mindset to relationship marketing and how do you bring value to that person? Where are they right now in their struggles and their situations? So Carlos, that's why I want to hit it really hard that those need to, uh, the folks listening to this need to go back to the videos and listen to how to engage. Maybe we can in the comment section, put the link on how to create the call to action because we've got to give checklists. We've got to get eBooks. This is what I was telling one of my clients, you know, create a checklist on how to, shop online through your computer? What types of products can you get? Because if they're in weight loss or they've gone through certain types of um, their diet restrictions and so forth, you can't just excite them about here's what to buy and make recipes. You've got to actually give them a shopping list. So that can be a lead generator. And they don't mind giving the information when you're giving something of massive help and value. You're solving the problem. Um, this is going to continue to change. I just have to say, Carlos, just the other day, it was either yesterday or day before yesterday, 1-800-CONTACTS has pivoted and they now will have an app on your phone where you can take your doctor uh, appointment through your phone and get your prescription without leaving your house. That is value added information. So that actually now will streamline and be a domino effect to optometrists in local areas where people are busy and it may hurt their business if they don't lean in and shift today. So those optometrists need to realize their competition and say, what can we give of value? So I'm going to share that because this is important because my grandmother had glaucoma. And if y'all can see, my eyes are super, super light. OK, so I have light sensitivity and cataracts run in my family, but glaucoma runs in my family. A 1-800 contacts would not necessarily do the glaucoma test because you have to go in very special. So this is the gap using Facebook and things like that. This is the gap that the optometrist could say, are you a candidate for glaucoma? Here's how to become aware of not losing your eyesight later in life. Click here for the indications, right? And it, I would tighten that call to action up so it's, it's nice and cleaner. But that's where they would use Facebook to give to market to that particular area of their clients that they've used, they've had, or they need to build more of to compete against a larger market segment and then say, here's what you can look for for glaucoma and here's how you can solve it. And this is why you would still want to see us in versus, let's say, another solution that is more general based. So they're becoming highly specialized and highly um, concentrated to the the message. And that's where then they would post that on Facebook and be able to take that one message. And I'm thinking of Amanda right now, who's my eye doctor, who lives 30 minutes from me, where she could be at home and share as the doctor, here's what you want to look for for glaucoma. And that's just one value added glaucoma, just one value added. That's not the cataracts and all of that, that could compete with other online sources that could chip away at her bottom line so and, and that's an example of how do you take then a simple 
idea to connect with the people that you can serve. I cannot serve outside patients. It's not my area of expertise, but I can serve the doctor. You see, each one of us have different areas that we can connect with someone else. Mm -hmm. And as Trish mentioned, there are different things that you can give and we are at the mark of the hour. But if you uh, connect with us uh, and our group, uh, Digital Marketing Secrets Reveal, one of the things that we actually have been sharing are some tips and some examples on how you can create or host those pieces of information for the people that you want to serve. For the people that in this case, if that doctor doesn't know, how do I share that information to my patients? How do I get new patients? Because that's the other thing. You may have existing patients. And if you already work with them, let's say that you orders, how do you attract new lead, new customer, new potential buyers without the, hey, buy me, take it. Uh, it. It's really good. No. How serve them without they even buy anything? If you never buy or you never join any of our sessions ever again, and you just consume what we gave you, I think that when we look at it the other day, Trish, we, we have actually created uh, free in the last month over I think 15 or 17 hours yeah, of, of content. content that we have given it out completely free without no strings attached, not looking at anything. Why? Because we value the people that connect with us. We value the people that are there. And when you start doing that, yeah. you can then build that relationship. However, it's heavy on my heart and I would feel like I didn't follow through if I didn't say this. And I don't mean this in any way, but just, I feel like this is supposed to go to somebody. The thing is, is that you can watch videos on your own, but if you need a roadmap where there's a power call you do with me and Carlos and we help you roadmap out, here's the technology tools you do, here's the calls to action that we can help you write, um, here's how you deploy the ads, because it's just to list, it's just coming to me, Carlos, that someone is out there and they're spending $250, $300 a month on Facebook ads individually. And three times six is $1,800 they could be spending and they could be actually cutting their expenses to $75 a month. And they may be losing $1,200, $1,500 by not having a plan. So what comes to me is I want people to know that we can do a private call. There would be a cost involved, but I can tell you that, I mean, we have so many testimonials. If you want to reach out, just like seeing a doctor, please know that we can help you and develop an entire roadmap from Roman numeral one. Here's your branding. Here's your clarity. Here's what we want to make sure that's on every single video as a call to action. Roman numeral two, here are the tools that you need to have in your tool belt. Here are the ones immediately free. Roman numeral three, here are the pieces in your website to capture the leads effectively. Roman numeral four, here's the social media elements that you can use immediately right out of the gate. Roman numeral five, here are the checklists and eBooks that we should develop based off of our power call that will generate leads for the rest of your life. This is not just a season, you see. This is a value added resource that you can give to people. Glaucoma will be around forever unless they come up with a massive cure. So can, is there a situation like glaucoma, like high blood pressure, like stress, PTSD, and anxiety that you are a specialist in, 
that needs to go to the front line today. It does. So if you're struggling with that, start watching our videos, number one, because you're going to have a light bulb moment. But Carlos, we haven't said this in, in the 20 videos or whatever that we've done. I want people to know that they can reach out to you and I and we can do yeah. a strategy session for them because they might just think that we have free videos, but we're not accessible. And, and I want them to know that we are accessible and that we can deliver a game plan that's really, really powerful that you can start implementing immediately in your business and get the measurable results. It's just heavy on my heart this morning. Really heavy. <laughs> so my friends, if you have a need, if you want to move your business, your ministry, or whatever you're doing forward. As I have said before, yeah, don't just stay stuck and say, I don't know what to do. It's a time for you to actually move forward. Yeah, yeah. Don't just try to do it alone. Do it with people. I think it's uh, an African proverb that said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And we are here for you, so my friends. It's been an awesome pleasure to be yeah. here with you today. I just this love all of you guys. I, I just, for those of y'all who are entrepreneurs, Carlos, again, this is just heavy on my heart. I, we believe in you and we see you more than you can see in yourself right now. We love, honor and appreciate you. Even if we haven't met you face to face, our ministry is helping people like you get your message out to help other people. So whether you use the free or you read our books or you download the ebook, it doesn't matter. Just know that we truly love, care and appreciate you. And we never want you to go to bed worrying about business, finances, how to generate leads and feel like you're all alone. I've been there. I have felt that carrying employees on my back and going, OK, how do I shift and pivot? And I'm so tired. I don't even have another brain to innovate. This is why we are here. This is why we love and care for you, because Carlos and I have lived that. And there are times when we still live it. And that's where Carlos and I talk on the phone. We want to bring the community together so you never feel alone again, that you feel a part of not just business. So I just wanted to, to give that to everyone today. So my friends, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. And we'll see you yes. on our next video. Love you guys, can't wait to help. All right.